Hey guys, my name is Justin. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I make videos about photography, filmmaking, travel, and gear. And in today's video, we're gonna do a little bit of street photography because today I'm gonna take you through the streets of Bu Right off the bat, I saw this couple hugging just outside of the hotel where we were staying in. It was a cold and cloudy day and the sun was almost just about to go out, but I was determined to get a few shots in. Now this is a photo of a restaurant nearby. I just thought the orange glow would be a nice contrast to the cold bluish tones of the afternoon. I later found out that the late Anthony Bourdain ate here and he described it as a field of dreams, a landscape of braced and fried and cured delights. Naturally, I got a lot of food from here during our stay. For this photo walk, I was using the Sony a7 III paired with my Viltrox 24mm f1.8 lens, which is one of my favorite full-frame lenses. On top of the camera, I mounted my DJI Pocket 2 to be able to shoot this POV video. Here you see me trying to test this street photography setup as I had never done this kind of video before, so I was trying to see how well the Pocket 2 was holding up. I was also using the 1 strength Glomis filter from Freewell Pro because they sent their magnetic VND filter system to me just a few days prior, so I was very excited to try it out. There are a few things I like doing every time I go out to take photos. One, I try to look for a landmark or a sign, something that will tie the photo to the location where I'm at. And two, I try to look for reflections from storefronts, signages, even watery puddles in the ground. I think it's always interesting and fun to just try and see what kind of photo you'll come up with. Looking at this photo, obviously there wasn't really a completed mirror image here. But I really like how it looked. It reminds me of the first photo you take in a roll of film. Moving ahead, I noticed this very interesting book stall. I like books a lot, so I thought I'd take a few photos of this too. I really like how its color made it pop against the dull colors of the building around it. Then I noticed the lines of the floor tiles on the ground and thought it would be nice to use those as leading lines. A little later, I saw this mural which I thought was pretty cool too. I really like the contrast of light and darkness here. Plus, I felt the colors of the mural would complement the cold gray sky. A lot of the times as I walk, I also look for things I can place close to the camera to frame the shot. Here I'm using the corner of a building to the left, positioned myself and waited for someone to walk into the frame. Here's something you don't see every day. By this time, I'd gone maybe 3 or 4 blocks away from our hotel, so I didn't want to go any further so that I could get back immediately. But I noticed this temple. So I quickly went behind this bench and tried to capture the people walking by in the frame. One of the best things I like about Sony cameras is the super fast autofocus speeds. It becomes really easy to point and shoot. I decided to retrace my steps, the light was already going out anyway. On the way back, I saw this chimney cake store, which is a local Hungarian delicacy that I really like. And this couple who I think were actually doing a vlog too. I almost said hello. So Kara suddenly felt sleepy so Kat is putting her to sleep so I am out right now trying to take some street photos of Budapest I am using the DJI Pocket 2 as my secondary cam which I have set up right above my Sony a7 III I noticed that the buses here were different from the ones in Vienna, so I took this photo. 
And again, I just love how the orange of the lights and the cars are complementing the blue bus. I also noticed that the trams here were different too. One thing I really like about traveling is taking the public transportation and experiencing it firsthand, so I always find trams like this interesting. Tram 49 was actually the tram we took after arriving at the train station in Budapest. It took us right to the city center of the Pest side. This is probably one of my favorite photos from this trip, single shot, no cheating. I think this was a mall nearby, and if you look towards the right there, right behind it, you also see the dome of St. Stephen's Basilica. I saw this bolt taxi parked by the street, and I thought it would be interesting to use it as a frame for the basilica. The afternoon sun was practically gone by this time, so I took a few more photos, and I started walking back to the hotel. So that is it for this video. I would like to thank you for walking with me through the streets of Budapest. Now as for the setup, if you're wondering, again, I was using the A7 III, right? And my DJI Pocket 2. And I basically used this quarter inch to a cold shoe mount. I screwed the Pocket 2 just like this and then used the hot shoe of my camera mounted up on here. Now it's not as compact. This is a little bit tall, I would say, but the good thing about this setup is that the image stabilization on the Pocket 2 was just really, really amazing. I mean, this is a small miniature gimbal after all. Now, another thing that I really love about shooting this way was the fact that I could easily turn the camera towards me just like this. Now it's facing me, right? So it's very easy to do talk to camera stuff, vlog style shots without extra effort at all. I just need to press the button, the camera face stories me and I'm able to see myself in the screen. Another thing I forgot to mention, photos you just saw will actually be published soon on my website, which by the way, if you haven't visited yet, now would be a great time to do so. You'll find it at www.justinespejo.com. I designed it and set it up myself. Thank you very much. I'm very, very excited about the website, planning to post lots of photos there, lots of content. I'm also doing a blog. So if you're into reading blogs, even in the time of videos, I would really greatly appreciate a visit. And once the blog is up, you will hear from this channel. Most likely I will be publishing it as well. Anyway, my name is Justin. And if you like this video, please don't forget to hit that like button. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. And as always, I'd like to thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.